San Francisco, guys and gals, you just played the marquee. You opened uh, the marquee the third and last day of the festival. How was it? It was, it was good fun. It was better than what we thought it was going to be because there were more people. Yeah? Yeah, there were. There was great turnout. Great turnout? Great turnout. Not too many people hung over or too tired from this last day? They looked a little, a little bit... Seedy. Yeah, a little bit tired, but, but still I think they enjoyed themselves. Uh, what's up with your tiredness? Can you sleep while on tour? Some bands, uh, some bands I've interviewed are like this, like, oh yeah, no. no. Other ones seem like really, I don't know, ADHD. Uh, coffee, yeah, coffee yeah, I one. think, yeah, we are a bit ADHD, but we don't get much sleep. Okay. Yeah. Right now, we're a bit jet lagged. A bit jet lagged. Yeah. Just came from your American tour. Yeah, from the US. Yeah. Flew out of LA, then flew into London, then drove here. Respect you guys, just so we can see you guys play San Francisco. That's uh, that's great. Uh, but how was the tour in the U.S.? I saw you went karting, you slept in a castle, you did all sorts of uh, fun stuff. Yeah, that oh. stuff happened. Oh, that stuff happened. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> what other stuff happened? Uh, not much else. We played some gigs. We did a lot BB of driving. Guns. A lot of driving. BB guns? They bought BB guns and yeah. toy helicopters. Oh, yeah. yeah that was fun. Those are hard to fly with. No, they're good. Yeah. They're fun. You are? Get one, I'll show you. Yeah, do you, yeah get me one. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> all things that Nick buys must come to an end. They all break. He breaks everything. You flew it down a, like, where? Did, you flew it like off a cliff. Oh, yeah, I love the loser. Yeah. Flew it off a cliff. Let's not talk about it, it's a sad day. <laughs> oh, that was okay, okay. No, let's not talk about it, let's not get <laughs> depressed. Your van has gotten broken into in the past, I know. So I was wondering, Probably not you, but who would be the first one if you were actually witness the thief breaking into your van? Who would be the first one to like Fuh! go all Jackie Chan on their ass? I think I would. Yeah, no, Scott definitely wouldn't. Probably Nick. <laughs> I don't think Scott definitely you would. would. I think you'd all run uh, away. Definitely would. Nick would. Nick doesn't think about stuff like that. He's just like person in car, run, <laughs> get him. I don't speak like that at all. <laughs> but yeah, no, he was a um, he was a drug addict, and he locked himself in the back of our car. And then he yeah, stole, that's... the worst thing was that he stole my, my Leatherman. You know what Leatherman yeah, is? Like yeah. a knife? Yeah, and he stole that, but he cut himself while <laughs> he was... can you be? He, he locked, locked himself in the yeah. van, so he tried to find something sharp to get out. Yeah. Not seeing that there was actually a, a lever that you could open the doors with. And then he freaked out and then fled the scene. Fled the crime scene. And they left blood everywhere. And he's so got his DN DNA. Yeah. He his phone. He got caught. Yeah, they caught him. Phone. They caught the guy. Yeah, he was oh, they caught the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, he was a known criminal. What did they do to him? Or what did you guys do to him? They, they, cut, they cut his limbs off <laughs> and, um, and just let him bleed out. That's brutal. <laughs> yeah. They're brutal in Bristol. Hung him upside down and bled him out. Yeah. That's how we do it in 2013. Yeah, yeah medieval stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all good. Just, just a flesh wound. <laughs> guys, San Francisco, thank you so much for, for, for this interview and have a great rest of your stay around the Puckle Pop Festival. Thank, thank you. you.